Today is leftover Thanksgiving day. And to me, that means it's a sandwich. What I've got here is the rest of my uh, turkey breast that wasn't eaten on Thanksgiving. And I thought, as I was going to eat this, maybe it'd be cool if I told you the story about how my, I got my turkey this year and what I did with it as opposed to previous years. Now, a lot of you know that I do Thanksgiving, which is sort of like Friendsgiving. I just guess I picked the wrong name because I call it Thanksgiving, which is more like a potluck. Friendsgiving is also like a potluck, but your friends come, not your family. At Thanksgiving, I have done it 11 years. I took a hiatus this year. Each year, I did the turkey in a different way. One year, I spatchcocked it. One year I did the traditional oven, one year I did the oven flipped upside down so the breasts are on the bottom. I fried it a couple times, we've rotisseried it, we've straight, straight up grilled it once, and of course we've sous vide it, which is what I've done for the last few years. That's what's in that sandwich, because that's what I did this year. But I also get my turkey not frozen and not from a supermarket or even from a Whole Foods. I go up to a poultry market in Astoria. Sometimes I go to other ones in Brooklyn, but believe it or not, they still have live poultry markets here in New York. You can go, pick your bird, and they kill it right there. Needless to say, it's very, very fresh. But this year, I wanted to do something a little different. I had a little extra time leading up to Thanksgiving, so I decided to try and find a farm that has true free range, not even the definition of free range, but like literally the turkeys can walk around all over the place on a farm. And I found one up in Modena, New York. So this is the story of me going to get my turkey and sous vide it for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Listen, we are heading up to get our turkey. We're going to the Carl family farm to go see Francesca and Chris. They raise their turkeys in a quite humane way, as much as they can, free range and all. Um, they don't do a lot of turkeys. They're not a poultry farm. So um, this should be a pretty delicious bird this year. We're hoping that we'll be able to see some turkeys, uh, you know, still flocking around, but it is late in the season, Thanksgiving being a couple days away. So I'm not sure how much we're gonna actually see in terms of that robust big turkey shot, because I want, I kind of want like this overhead shot of all the turkeys, but we'll see. Okay, so we're going up into this farm stand uh, to get the turkey because here it's self-serve, says Francesca. That's Roger, by the way. Uh, chicken
right there. They are? No, those are chickens. Yeah. Turkeys are here, I think. Okay, so we are here at the farm. I'm gonna go over here and show you where the turkeys are at. So once we get the bird back to the house, here's what happens next. Okay, we, uh, we're back in the kitchen with the bird and we're working out a little bit of the brine situation and then we gotta kind of debone this thing because that's how it's going to go in the sous vide. I find that, that is the best, moistest, most delicious turkey that you can do. So that's what we're going to do this year. But first, we've got to brine it. What I've got going on over here is a big gallon of water with a cup of kosher salt and a cup of brown sugar. Next, I gotta figure out what the brine's gonna be. Got some options down here. I'm gonna show you right now. This is what we're gonna go for. So we're gonna do some celery seed, some coriander, some Calabrian chili, just a little bit, some cloves, some star anise, a couple bay leaves, and then put some fennel and a cinnamon stick in there. Set an alarm for 24 hours. I can't set an alarm for more than one day ahead. How about a reminder instead? No. Okay. Set a timer for 24 hours. Set a timer for 24 hours. Sorry, I can only set timers for less than 24 hours. Try setting a reminder instead. <sighs> Set a time for 23 hours and 59 minutes. Okay.
are on a three day journey, Thanksgiving day today. We, we started by getting the bird on day one. Day two, we did some brining and some sous vide beginnings. We've been sous vide now for over 12 hours. We're about to take them out and finish them up and then it's eating time. And that, my friends, is how you wind up with some leftover Thanksgiving turkey that you turn into a sandwich. Now, I made this video really because uh, I wanted to play with the drone a little bit. I thought it might be interesting if I took you along on the ride up to upstate to find the bird and, and to bring it back and just kind of show you what, what, what I do for Thanksgiving because, you know, that's fun. Um, I plan to make some more of these videos in the future, but right now I, I got a sandwich to eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, one more thing. So if those are the kinds of things that you want to, if you want to see more of, let me know. I don't, I don't know how to do this because I don't, I don't, like, in, there's comments or there's likes or thumbs ups or something, or, or just text me.